As governments and businesses around the world start to grapple with the huge task of getting our economies back up and running, the enormity of the challenge is starting to become clear. The world's industries, particularly those engaged in the medical supply chain, are having to deal with a range of issues, from product requirements through to custom certification, and are often using complex legacy procurement systems that have struggled during the coronavirus pandemic. These issues mean that it's hard to verify aspects of production or distribution, resulting in breakdowns of trust across global supply chains. Various innovative solutions have been proposed, and at the forefront of these is blockchain technology. Blockchain obviously has very wide application. Blockchain is essentially a ledger. Data stored in blockchain is immutable, so it can't be changed. Therefore, blockchain fosters trust and, and transparency. In a very simple language, you can think blockchain as the digital ledger, but it's decentralized. Cryptocurrency, which distracts from the blockchain true potential. You know, the researcher, they get interest in blockchain, not because of the Bitcoin or Ethereum or other uh, cryptocurrencies. But what we want to see that the blockchain technology here can help with many other decentralized systems. It's in healthcare, in IoT, in transportation, in supply chains, you name it, almost every field. The reason that the blockchains can have impact on many different applications and many different fields because it seems like you own your own data, right? It can be tracked and it's not simple for someone to change the record. Most people talk about uh, blockchain, you know, like Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, uh, etc. Actually, in the future is not just the uh, di uh, digital currency, etc. It has many connections to other technologies like IPR, like Internet of Things, and some technologies um, that uh, blockchain is studying will have an uh, impact uh, for uh, other technologies. This is what we are, we are using technology to, to do cross interdisciplinary research. Blockchain technology's wide range of applications means that it has an increasingly large platform on the world stage, with the potential to revolutionise healthcare provisioning, accelerate innovation, and enable new data-driven intelligence across multiple sectors. So in terms of um, applying blockchain technology in peer review, uh, for scholarly journals. Every part of the process does get recorded. Every name of the reviewers, every comment has been made and, and it's saved. And it can be, for example, shared with other publishers, but it can also underpin and support our move towards open science and open research. Now, furthermore, in the Facebook or Google, you can enter many information, you post many things, you don't know where that data go. However, imagine we have the blockchain, then whatever you do, whatever your data, uh, data travel and who going to use this, how it's going to be used, you know, and you can track. It will encourage more data sharing because the blockchain provides transparency and accountability. Transparency and accountability are precisely what's needed at this moment in time as we deal with extensive disruption to global supply chains. Globally, supply chains are broken. COVID-19 has actually contributed a lot towards this sort of breakdown of supply chains. One of the important um, you know, um, areas is obviously supply of medical equipment and ensuring that medical equipment is produced according to the standards, but no fake medical equipment enters the market. Blockchain can actually um, track the provenance, the origin and provenance of this equipment. It is about establishing trust because trust is broken, essentially. People have been talking a lot too. They try to uh, uh, integrate, uh, integrate the blockchain into the current system for many things. The hospital don't know how many ventilators they have. So with the blockchains, right, it's easier to keep track of the delivery of items and manage in stock items. Blockchain is new to many, many people, even to research it. and. Most big companies like uh, Microsoft, like IBM, are building their own uh, platform called Blockchain as a Service Platform. The, such platform is like a cloud platform or like a big data platform, etc. This is the, the, the load of uh, such platform to provide uh, the service to the user. These are key developments in the blockchain sector. However, as with any innovation of this kind, technical challenges and problems remain. Two issues with blockchain, one of them is you know, the amount of energy and also the relations and standards that 
we need to basically overcome and kind of work and ensure that they we find a way of bringing them all together. And internet is not designed for security at the day one, right? So a lot of things can happen like DOS attack, all that stuff. On the internet itself can destroy the operation of the blockchain. So that's an, another research area for the blockchain nowadays. So I, I, I'm interested to think scalability and security of the blockchain. Despite these challenges, there is far more good news than bad. The most uh, promising things about blockchain is that it may help us to, to better understand the artificial intelligence because data in blockchain or on, on the chain is transparent. transparent. And the most, uh, currently, the big problem of AI is that we do not have much data to train a model to produce a good model. But if we use the, the blockchain, in that, in that sense, people or companies may want to share their data. This is one thing very interesting about blockchain. It comes from industry first. It, it's very uh, unique because usually you, people do research a lot and it becomes broader in real life industry. So to realize the full potential of blockchain, we need to do research on scalability, security, and so on. So that's why I think it can, because the research is kind of new in this area. It, we need a journal dedicated to this topic to promote more research on this and more collaboration. The IET has recognized the important role that blockchain is going to play in our future. We're launching a new journal to explore, review, and promote the technology. The journal is simply going to be called IT Blockchain and it will cover everything about the blockchain, you know, the recent developments, where the way research is moving to, the underlying sort of technology, and it's going to obviously cover all the applications as well, which, which I find is really exciting. Blockchain has a real application, it can really solve problems. The IET is committed to expanding our programme of journals Blockchain has moved on from being a bedrock of cryptocurrencies to wider applications in business and industry. IET Blockchain publishes fundamental research results, cutting edge technologies, and the latest developments in the applications of blockchain technology.